Hey tankers, this is Eric over at Tyson Tanks, and today we're going to be replacing the turret rotation unit on one of my uh, very good Tigers. He's been through a lot of damage, a lot of use. Um, after two years now, I think it's time to actually go in and replace some things on him. So we're just going to go ahead and start with the turret rotation units, and after this video, I'll follow up with an, uh, an airsoft replacement on one of my other tanks as well. Um, this one does not have a broken rotation unit, so it'll be hard for me to actually diagnose, um, you know, to actually diagnose what's wrong with it and stuff like that. Uh, this is actually a customer requested video, so I figured I would go ahead and just upgrade mine while we're at it here. So, um, we've got our battery here. Um, I got a, this is a LiPo, comes with a nickel metal hydrator with stock in here. Make sure you run a low voltage alarm here. I've just got a Velcro road there, nothing special. Um, now you can see here, yes, it does have a different cupola that one's uh, getting fixed here. Like I said, this guy has been used pretty hardcore over the last two years. Uh, my tanks see more use in a month than a lot of people do in uh, probably their lifetime, actually. Um, as some of you guys actually might be able to tell, um, that is our old uh, brass gearboxes on the inside there. So that tells you how old these guys are. Now, the lower hole we're not going to be using at all. Um, the only thing I wanted to show is just, um, you know, everything is working here. All Everything is correctly hooked up where it should be. Now, what I do recommend for you guys to do is to go ahead and find yourself um, some kind of foam or some kind of clothing or something. We, we have some awesome bubble wrap that works really well here. Um, and that's what I'm going to use to turn over the turret and the upper hole here. Um, now, it's also recommended, guys, to go ahead and paint your hatch or uh, tape your hatches down so they don't fling open when you turn them upside down like this. What I'm going to do is unscrew the turret right here and go ahead and release that from the upper hole. All right, now what we're going to be doing is actually unscrewing three screws here. So we're going to be unscrewing this screw, this one, and this one. It'll depend on uh, what tank that you have. Some tanks have two to three screws. Some have, uh, you know, four to five all the way. I think the King Tiger has five, actually. Right. Uh, number three screw here. Okay, so now we are clear to remove the uh, turret ring here. Now you also have to remove this little free pin connector here. Remember to make sure what orientation this is in. So if you need to, go ahead and take a picture of that so you know which way it was before you took it out. All right, and now the upper hole is free from the turret. And this is what we were wanting. So we can go ahead and move this turret here. And we will set that guy aside. Now we have the upper turret. Once again, I'm still using the foam here. Now, if this was broke right here, um, we would be able to go ahead and give it some DC power and nothing would work. But like I said, guys, since this one is working, um, it's going to be a little hard here. So let's just go ahead and unscrew the unit first. And we can have a little bit closer look at it. Okay, so just those three screws. So one, two, and three. Go ahead and get those screws here real quick. Okay, so now we have the rotation unit here. Now here is how we would normally test it. Um, I did another video previously, guys, on how to diagnose your brush motors. And we would just apply some power here. And if it was broke, this little gear would not spin, but it is. So if you had this problem in your tank and say your unit here was not working, um, but once you actually applied DC power to it and it did work, it's in your wiring. It has to do with your motherboard, so make sure you follow your wiring back. Now, speaking of following the wiring back, that is what we're going to have to do now. 
since this one does not have a plug, we're actually going to have to either cut the wire and splice it into the new one, which is going to be right here, um, which that is the solderless way. It's easier, and for people that don't have a soldering iron, that's an acceptable way to do it. But the best way to do it is going to be to solder it right there. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to go ahead and get this up real quick and remove the solder there. Okay. So that is our turret rotation unit here. And this is how it will come when you order one. Minus a little bit of paint right there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of extra solder on these contacts right here. And get ready for the next one uh, to be soldered in its place. So let's go ahead and uh, if I don't bump the camera here. Go ahead and add a little bit of extra solder. And the solder is way too big for what I need. Okay, that's all you need to do. We're just going to retin these posts here. And that will make it a lot easier when we come to resolder this unit in. Now, these will come with the wires already tinned, so you don't have to add solder to them. However, I'm going to do that anyway. It's just as simple as getting a little bit of solder on your tip here, melting it on. And with this gauge wire, it's pretty easy. You can just kind of run it through it. And that's all we got to do right there. We'll just recoat it and add a little extra onto the wire. Now be careful, guys, because this solder will drip off, as you can start to see. It's starting to drip. So make sure and wipe your tip off when you're done and make sure it stays clean. All right. Now we're going to solder this guy right back on to where it was. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, actually got a call and had to stop my uh, video. It's time I learned to turn that off. So let's start back again where we were, and uh, we'll go ahead and solder these wires here. So we'll go ahead and grab our rotation units. And since we've already got solder on the pads, this should be a pretty easy one here. Get it up, put it around it. Okay, and that one's done. Heat this pad up here. Okay, nice and solid. Make sure and wipe your soldering iron off again. Keep it clean. And that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. We can go ahead and screw this guy back in. Make sure that the gear is facing towards the turret ring. Right? Set it back down on its post, and that's it. If you want to, you can go ahead and hide the wiring up just a little bit. Um, I usually run mine around this top post up here. And then set it back down. See how it uh, cleared up the wiring just a hair? And we'll go ahead and put our three screws back in. Make sure not to tighten these too tight now, guys. And that's it. That is how you replace the turret rotation unit on a Titan tank.